So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and well today I showcase you something which is pretty crazy. A way in which supposedly speedrunners are powering through this game, taking out bosses with one hit and just making life much much easier. Supposedly guys, that information has dropped and that's what I bring you today. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So how are speedruns completing the game in such a short amount of time? What methods are they using? What are they using to take out bosses so quickly? Well, a video was sent to me on my Discord by a guy called Rage Gaming Videos. You probably know about him if you watch Elden Ring, not too much ways about it. Uh, a video sent to me was called How to get new weapon speedrunners break the game with one hit bosses out of ring best build Forget the title of the video, whatever What the video is about is A cheese in which you can do Which allows you to apply A Ash of War From one weapon to another Basically um, Let's say Makitana which has got a Warcry um, Ash of War on I would never be able to use that on my bloody headless because you can't put Ashes of War on it. And I'll showcase that to you right here guys. And uh, my bloody headless. If you want to, I'll actually put a, a short clip at the end of the video where this is obtained. Same as the War Cry. Because they're the most important things about this video. And how this actually, well I'd say exploit but it's more of a cheese works. But yeah, so don't worry about that. So firstly how this works is, or what's actually happening is guys. Is so we're using a War Cry. We're main weapon in our left hand weapon and then we're using the actual ability which comes with the war cry on that left handed weapon which is the bloody helis and we're getting insane amounts of damage with it because what happens is guys if you don't know the war cry gives you it kind of overwrites your heavy attack on your on the weapon it's applied to so let's say for instance my katana now has got war cry on it so that's my heavy attack if I hold down my right trigger that's my heavy attack I use my war cry that changes to that you like a run and swipe and that's what we want to apply to our left-handed weapon which is what we have here which is the bloody helis which is the weapon he uses in his video so it's the one i want to demonstrate with you could probably do this with many other weapons guys even better weapons either way with weapons leveled up war cry applied you need to learn first learn to do this to how to two-hand a weapon it's quite easy so with one weapon in each hand, all you got to do guys is on Xbox hold Y, on PlayStation hold Triangle and on PC I think it's hold E. So for your left handed weapons holding that button, you just press your left trigger. There you go, two handed. If you want to two hand your right handed weapon, you press the right trigger. Simple as that. So that's what you got to do. So then guys, so with both hand weapons in hands, war cry on our right handed weapon, bloody hell is in our left hand. We then just simply activate the war cry, then just two hand our left weapon. Simple as that. And then guys, we can just hold down that right trigger and it gets the attack. It gets that charge attack that comes exclusively with that war cry. Now, why this does so much damage to the boss, or if you watch his video, which like I said, I'll link his channel below, he's doing insane amounts of damage. He's fighting early game bosses and just destroying them. More or less one hit. What's actually happening is he's hitting them with every instance of the animation within that attack. So, for instance, let's do it. You can see here, every instance, that shoulder barge, that run, that swipe, it's about four, four hits in one attack and it does some crazy amounts of damage. And I'll showcase it to you on these uh, giants here. Now it won't kill the giants, like I said, it's good on uh, the earlier bosses, but I've tried it on um, these two, it won't one hit. I tried it on a few enemies up in the the snowy region, the mountain tops of the giants, and it won't one hit them. And my stats are pretty high. I mean, I need to respec and just put them into the spread out across the thing, but still, level 307. I've still got, I think I've got better stats than what he had in on, in his uh, video. And I've got some decent talismans on too as well. So yeah, it's nothing to do with that. So it's definitely just, it's a great, let's, let's just not get it twisted here. It does insane amount of damage damage you probably wouldn't be able to do normally but it ain't one hitting bosses well I don't think it is anyway okay so coming up to the big dude 
And you'll see what I mean by every instance of the animation is actually a hit. And when he falls over, you'll see that you can't actually land all shots because he's on the floor. And that's why it works great in the video he demonstrates that Rage Gaming videos because he's doing it on a boss which is big and fat and standing in front of him. So every single instance of that animation is hitting the boss with, with uh, enemies that move quick, with enemies that fly, with enemies that go to weird angles when they fall over like this dude. You can't do it with it. Well, you can do it, but you just can't get the full effect of it. So let me activate my war cry. There we go. Two handed weapon. There we go. Lock onto his leg. Hold down that right trigger. And there you'll see. See, there you go. I mean, and now you'll see. If I try it here, I won't get the whole full hit. See? I missed one or two attacks there. You see what I mean? That's basically how it works. But it is un. Oh, I just got crossbowed in my head. And now that the uh, war cries run out, so you will have to keep activating as well, guys. But you'll get the hang of um, actually triggering it. It's, it's, if that guy wants to stop shooting me, that was, I'd be. Oh, oh, well, there you go. But either way, like I said, it does insane amounts of damage. I'm taking that, whatever that is. Oh, I was about about the 24 I've got. But yes, that's basically how it works. It's basically how it works. And like I said, this could work with other weapons. I know the Blood of Hades, though, is a super, super powerful weapon. It really is. Um, and in regards to what that war cry can be applied to, I'm not exactly certain. I can have a quick look, though, for you Give me a sec. Okay, so it can be used on daggers, thrusting swords, and whips are accepted. So that's pretty cool. Now, it is obtained. You buy this from uh, Knight Bernahi uh, at the War Master Shack real early on in the game. Now, if you're a light game player, he may not be there for you. I don't really want to spoil it. Or if you've killed him, uh, he's took his barbarian to the Twin Maiden Husks at the round table. You'll be able to purchase it there. But if you can't get it, guys, it's actually available on other weapons, which I just noticed. Um, to be honest, I, I knew ages ago. I've just, it's just clocked in my brain. Like weapons such as the Highland Axe uh, have it on it as standard. There's a Warped Axe that will have it on as standard. There's quite a few axes that will have this on as standard. And it does work, as you can see, if I activate it there. And I just double hand my... Uh, my bloody hair, so there we go, and we have it guys So yeah, it is really as simple as that But yeah, I'll showcase you on the screen now Where you get the actual war cry from but this will be for all early game players like I said later game players He may not be there for you uh, But there's also weapons in the game like I said axes you can get this as standard on the war cry And also the bloody hell is I'll showcase to you guys on screen now as well where you get that thing from and there we have it guys do some testing let me know what you think about this down below within that comment section i just hope this clears things up for people out there i've had countless questions about it as well so yes i hope it clears things up for you guys but there we have it it's still an incredible technique it still destroys bosses better than 95 percent of other methods i've seen in the game so it's definitely one to at least try it out if you're struggling with a certain boss and there we have it guys if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Adam Ring, be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people. I will see you on that next one.